This video is going to be about Pozo, but before I get into that, I want to give a little shout out to my um, my latest film, A Star, which is um, on this YouTube channel. It's about our trip to Tyree, and it also has some stuff from Action from Cornwall. So if you haven't seen it, go give it a watch, and um, we'd also really appreciate if you enjoyed it um, and like to see kind of future projects like that. Um, we'd really be stoked if you could uh, support us by making us a donation, and that's going to be on Money Tree. So I'll put that down below in the description. We put a lot of, put a lot of hours into this behind the computer, and also Pierre, who was filming with me, um, you know, he did it all for free. So um, any little little bit of money really goes a long way to help us on these kind of videos. But anyway, I'm going to switch back to um, Pozo. So what is the update? The, um, the good news is I've got into the PWA event, the World Cup that they do here. So yeah, pretty excited for that. It's my first one I've ever done. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. It's kind of something I've always kind of dreamed of, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm super happy to get in. It's going to be a bit surreal competing with some of the best sailors on the world. I guess that leads me on to the bad news, which is, um, yeah, I've been here the past two weeks and the level is the highest I've ever seen it. Um, it always does feel like I'm playing catch up coming here every year. I'm definitely not anywhere near their level yet, but hopefully uh, I'll keep trying. And um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of just give it a real go and yeah, see how I get on. So you're probably thinking, Lucas, what, um, how's the training been going? Yeah, it's been, it's been good. I think every time you come here, you've got to try and get like, the fine balance between um, you know, pushing your sailing, pushing the limits a bit, but obviously not going too crazy because you don't want to be injured for the competition. I think the thing that happens here is for a lot of us, like obviously I'm from England, a lot of these guys, we're not sailing every day with 30, 40 knots. And um, it's kind of it's a bit of a shock to the like the system, like the body. And um, after two weeks, you know, the body, uh, my body feels like it's pretty destroyed, pretty knackered. And um, yeah, I've had a couple of, like niggling injuries. I had a little thing with my ankle, and then I had like just now I've got this little thing in my knee, um, like little tendon problem. I've been trying to get that fixed up with uh, the Queen of Poser that's died her, but she also is a physio now. Um, so fingers crossed it's going to be all good for the competition but it's me like I kind of I really wanted to push the doubles and go for the doubles and I haven't really gone for it yet but what I've been training I guess like um, one hand back is all the way and then kind of just you know getting myself used to this, these conditions that are just super onshore small waves really choppy so oh. yeah I feel confident in myself I haven't pushed as much as I've wanted to, but yeah, as I said, my body's kind of taken a few hits here and there, so um, it's been hard to do that. Yeah, I think since I got here, I've been the first day on 4-2, kind of warming up, and then since then, it's been 3-7, um, a couple of days on 3-4, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been windy, although it hasn't been like super windy. Yeah, the forecast is looking a little bit sketchy. We've got like this, uh, like this Kalima, which is basically like this, hot dusty air coming from the Sahara um, so it's like it's hot now it's really hot I can't lie I'm sweating in this so we're just keeping our fingers crossed that the uh, the competition we're gonna get some good conditions for all the guys to rip so this year I've been staying with Miguel Chapuis and Tomer from Israel I really admire Lucas uh, he's a big inspiration for me <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Miguel's been, you know, really pushing it this year. He's been going for a lot of doubles. He's been um, pushing the push forwards and uh, with not such great results. I think he had a pretty horrible back slap one day and uh, he was a few days off the water, like, his back was like super, he couldn't move it at all. It's the thing, you don't want to like push too hard because then you get injured, so um, it's a tricky one. And Tomo, like, Tomo has been like sailing the last couple of years really well. Um, I think he did some push forwards in Cape Town. He's, been doing a lot of doubles, but I think here he's, he's taking quite a lot of time to kind of get used to it, and it's only like the last couple of days where he's um, really started to, uh, to sail well. But I'm sure, I'm sure both of them will do pretty well in the comp. I think what's really cool this year is like all the juniors have kind of stepped up. Um, you know, a few of the guys have kind of left, like Jager and Adam, which is um, kind of sad to see because they were both um, like ripping super hard. Um, but yeah, it's meant that like a lot of us younger guys have managed to get in. 
Um, so it's really cool to see like the guys I was staying with last year, Henry and Lauren, um, are also in the comp. So yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting one. I think I'm gonna have to wrap up this video. The memory card is um, kind of fading a little bit. Comp's gonna be starting in yeah a couple of days. I think I'll try maybe get a video after I've competed to kind of um, give an update on like how it's all gone with that. I'm not really sure how I want to take it um, with the videos on this channel. So uh, yeah, I guess it'll help if you guys um, if you guys have any ideas on what you want to see while I'm here. Um, just put them in the comments, we'll give you a message. Thanks for watching, uh, subscribe if you're new, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed that we're going to get some good conditions for the comp. And yeah, hopefully I sail okay. <laughs> get some lunch now.